Hi, I'm John Sarnville, um, and I farm at Pinebush in, in Southland, and it's a uh, mixed uh, deer sheep operation with a, uh, a valveting herd and a stud uh, breeding herd, and uh, uh, terminal sheep, and uh, it's a rolling sort of country with um, reasonable heavy rainfall of about 1100 mils, um, and it has a lot of um, issues, particularly with deer, with, with the nature of the small ridges and the, the soft soils. Um, so to, to remedy a lot of that, there's a lot of um, susceptible areas have to be um, fenced off. Uh, like behind me here is a um, sideland that uh, deer do a lot of damage on. It says it's self-facing and they like to run around, so it's been fenced off and planted out in marker carpers. Um, and, and part of the idea of that is obviously to, to give shelter, but also perhaps in the future a bit of monetary value to it. And, and also there's the headwaters of the, the waterways in, in this block. And so it has a two-fold uh, um, application and, uh, and, and protecting both and improving the waterways as they run down through the property. Um, and this country here has a lot of small waterways and uh, every hill has one around each side of it and so it's, uh, it is quite involved in protecting the, the water systems in them. Here is typical of the creeks on uh, this property and, uh, and this has been fenced out and so it's achieving its um, goal of, of uh, filtering because as you can see the, the, the grass and, and the aquatic plants have grown up over the creek um, and so it does a great job of absorbing any runoff from the hills because uh, uh, this sort of country has a lot of critical source areas by the, the nature of the, the hills and the slope. Yeah the, um, the area that uh, you see down to my right here is uh, actually um, has sheep in it and uh, and, and part of the reason it has sheep in is because it's quite vulnerable to, to deer. The, you can see the nature of the country. There's a critical source area behind there um, that deer would run around and make quite a mess. So this sort of country in, in my, in, uh, is better left with, with sheep. And that is partly, that's why the, the creek is unfenced as such because the sheep don't do the, the physical damage that deer can do in those, those sort of creeks. Right behind me is one of the um, areas uh, that we selected for, for monitoring the, the water as this is the main major inlet to, to this particular block and so that's where one of the water tests was taken and, uh, and you can also see behind that some more of the, the, the flax areas that have been fenced out for, for, as far as the deer are concerned. Right this this is one of the, uh, the creeks that we uh, monitored uh, for water testing. The um, three main things that we uh, test for in the water testing is um, E. coli uh, phosphorus and uh, nitrate levels in the water, which are some of the three critical factors uh, affecting uh, health of, of, of the waterways. Um, you, you fence things off and, and do um, stuff that, that filters out the water systems. So at the end of the day, it is quite interesting to see what your water is like. And this is an outlet sort of site for this block. And we tested it initially in uh, late September to get that uh, spring test, and, uh, and then again in mid January and uh, quite um, different r results in both of them which are quite surprising um, but it's a, it is a, water testing is just a, a snapshot in, in time on, that, uh, on your property so it depends on a lot of factors like rainfall, recent rainfall and such like um, but in, in the September, late September one we did find uh, mayfly which was uh, a really good sign that the water quality was quite good so it's been a very interesting um, exercise.